Hey, gentlemen, do you think smartphone cameras will replace standard professional cameras with time? Absolutely. This is a no-brainer right here. It's, uh, we're all camera people in this studio, for example. I came up on that. I wouldn't have this channel if I wasn't obsessed with cameras at one point in my life. Now, I rarely reach for an actual camera. Oh, we're going, we're going down memory lane. Type in Nikon D70. We're going down memory lane. Willie just bringing it up. This is one of my first digital cameras. It was one of the first digital SLR cameras that shot video reasonably well and gave you a shallow depth of field inside of a package you could afford as a regular human being. And so I took out this D70 uh, on the very first Nuit Blanche downtown in the city. This is a night, it's a celebration kind of art show thing where the whole city stays up all night and different venues that would typically be closed, they stay open. And so I shot a bunch of like low light stuff and I was just consumed by the idea of a shallow depth of field because that's how cool that was at the time. You couldn't get it. Never mind on a Pixel phone like you, Willie do. You had to have this thing and this was tiny in comparison to what you would have had to carry around previously to get that shallow depth of field effect. There were problems. Maximum clip sizes, uh, overheating. It was so bizarre. Rolling shutter. Kirk knows what I'm talking about. It was, a, it was a lot to overcome, but it was cool to experiment with. And it's kind of the precursor for this whole channel taking shape. So I'm a camera guy, but that doesn't mean I'm unrealistic. It doesn't mean I'm not paying attention. It doesn't mean I'm not looking at what's going on around us. And the real advancement is not so much in camera hardware, it's in camera software, which we talked about in a Pixel 3a unboxing video. And so we're going to continue to progress towards this computational photography stuff. And what that means is not just smartphones as cameras. What it means is increasingly that the AI or that the software itself is going to determine what your photos even look like. I'm going to take a picture of Willie Do and I'm going to get the moon instead. Do you know what I mean? His head is going to be the moon because Huawei's just going to decide that's a better Willie Do with a moon head. So I'm exaggerating. I'm having fun right now. It's just a little joke. But night mode is a great example. Willie Do just brought up night mode. It's another great example of how your camera is better than you are. When it's, when it's engaging with the, with the software, with the algorithms, with the knowledge base, it's better than you are. It just knows it can make better guesses. And we're going to continue to see superimposing and bigger data sets and God knows what our photo, we're going to look better than we actually look. Things are going to look better than they actually look. We're just, we're at the very beginning of this particular this thing. It seems like it's advanced and mature. It seems like, oh, what do you mean? Smartphone cameras? Yeah, of course. We're all doing it already. But we're still, when this Pixel came out, and of course what Apple's doing on the, on the most recent iPhone, Huawei, we already talked about, where this can go is actually bananas. So yes, regular cameras are over. In circumstances like this, like for a show like this, they still serve a purpose but their importance and significance continues to shrink by the day.